Hey what's up guys this is Shrikesh here and this is a tutorial on simulation using pSpice. So this you'll be doing in uh, Power Electronics lab. The first part is hit the windows button then search for capture. So this is a cadence tool. Uh, it's a part of pSpice which lets you do the simulation by building the circuit and uh, you can specify some uh, you know uh, the values for all the components and then it will give you what's the input and what's the output so hit the capture so wait for a few seconds it will open now we have the cadence tool which is capture so this is the place where uh, you'll be designing your circuit so just go for new project and then uh, make sure you select pSpice analog or mixed uh, analog or digital uh, checklist and then give a name uh, uh, so now I'll be I'll be showing you how to do, do the half wave rectifier and full wave rectifier using uh, RC triggering circuit so just give a name okay I'll give RC triggering okay and then press the ok button and then create a blank project you need to uh, select this so we don't have an existing project but you need to select the blank project and then hit ok button now it will take you to the workplace yeah. so this is your workplace right now uh, you see this part here where the cursor is um, this is uh, the DMM pins the multimeter uh, pins that you have that will be uh, used for checking the output or input voltage now go ahead and build the circuit first thing that you need to do is place the parts go to this icon uh, which looks like some kind of IC uh, or you can just press P as a shortcut it will just show you yeah just place part now uh, you need to search for resistors uh, diodes uh, ACR capacitors etc for resistors just press R and you have R analog here <coughs> just double click on that you'll get a resistor um, press R for rotate if you press R it will just rotate so just click on the workplace to place the resistor again and then again press R again you can place it somewhere else now press escape to return uh, you'll get the normal cursor and then go back to the uh, you know the search bar and then select a diode D I mean no for uh, diode you need to search you need to give the component name so it has a code right diode uh, here I have D1N 4002 <coughs> make sure you don't select EVAL it should uh, say DIODE diode D1N4002 diode so double click on that and then again place it wherever you want so I'm making RC triggering circuit here I'm just going to build the circuit just the way it is uh, I have two diodes here okay this should be placed in a different way okay now hit escape again and then go back to the search bar so search for ACR ACRs uh, you know the code is 2N1 595 uh, <coughs> see it shows thyristor 
you shouldn't be selecting eval uh, it's some kind of i don't know what it is but yeah this is the one you need to select the register and then double click and then press r for rotate it should be like this yeah just place it click on the workplace and then hit escape and then you need a capacitor so just give c it shows c analog double click on that and then place it here press r for rotate and then click hit escape and then you need v sign so you need to give a sine wave as an input for uh, the circuit so select v sign that's the source make sure <coughs> it has the same name v sign slash source double click and then place it now hit escape now you need to make all the connections you have all the components on your uh, workplace now make the connections go to this na narrow wire don't go to the broad wire uh, go to this uh, that's place wire you can either hit w or uh, click on that icon so go there and then make sure uh, you, you place the plus mark cursor on the terminal otherwise uh, it won't be proper connected and you might get an error in the further, further process um, go ahead and make the connections okay now most of the people forget to place the ground terminal without the ground terminal you won't be getting any output so <coughs> you don't get ground terminal here ground terminal you'll you'll find on the you know all the component bar bar on the right side see uh, to place the ground terminal you can either uh, hit g g button or select this then press ok uh, make sure uh, the symbol is zero and then ok and then place it now again make the connection hit w and then yeah now we are going to change the values of all those components we are going to give uh, specifications so v of is 0 press enter and then to change the you know the values of these components just double click on uh, the name of it see we have frequency alternating current and then uh, v of v amplitude so double click on that and then that's given as 50 that's what's there in my manual and then frequency 50 50 hertz okay um if th this is not mentioned in my manual and that's why i'm going to remove it just select it and press delete so the capacitor is given as 0 0.01 micro for micro you just press u and then hit ok for r1 it's given as 200 k kilo then ok then go to r2 change it to 100 <coughs> so now we are done changing the values of those components now uh, take the dmm you need to know the input waveform and the output waveform how it looks so take the double one voltage differential markers 
all you have to do is place at the terminals there's a glitch that is the input waveform that I'm going to measure and this is the load resistor so across the load resistor I will be getting the output so I'll be comparing the input waveform and the output waveform then press escape now you need to go to P spice and then new simulation profile and then just give a simulation profile name uh, which we'll be using to uh, this this is just like a test bench for uh, uh, VLSI uh, uh, whatever you do in VLSI lab <coughs> using test bench so just give a name RC triggering and hit create so now um, this is run to time this is uh, the value till which you'll be viewing your waveform uh, just go ahead give uh, 5 milliseconds or something we'll try and maximum step size is something which decides the smoothness of your waveform uh, this is the resolution of the waveform uh, I'll be giving 0 0.001 something and then apply and then hit ok now uh, you see the differential markers uh, are gone so place it again you need to be placing this after uh, that step after uh, simulation profile okay i just hit it somewhere so hit escape and then this is run p spice so whatever there is in the circuit and whatever uh, the specification that you have given in the simulation profile it will be uh, compiled and uh, the waveform will be shown to you so just run p spice here that's the green color play button over there just hit it wait for a few seconds and the waveform will be shown here okay this i've given just 5 milliseconds just go ahead and change the profile you, you are we are getting the waveform but uh, this should be some more than 5 milliseconds i'll try 50 milli apply okay then just go ahead run okay now we've got the waveform uh, you should give 50 or 60 milliseconds so that uh, see you have from 0 to 50 milliseconds so that's what the waveform is um, the input is given as 50 hertz as frequency so the circuit is designed in such a way that one cycle is uh, around 20 milliseconds so if you there are two waveforms here one is the green and one is red the red one is the output and the green one is the input waveform uh, to separate those to view that in two different plots go to plot and then add plot to window and then all you have to do is the green color is the input i'm going to select the green one here you can't select the waveform inside the window just go to that uh, you know look at where the cursor is yeah look i have selected here and then ctrl x that's to cut and then select the window here uh, see if i select this window selected pointer will come here again if i select this window the select pointer will come here so this window is selected i am going to put the waveform into this window so ctrl v that is to paste so <coughs> you've got input waveform and the output waveform uh, to view this 
with a thick line just right click on the waveform and then trace property in the trace property go to width and select the width how much ever you want and then press ok it will show you with a wider line again uh, right click on the second waveform the red one and then go to trace property again go to width and select the thicker line press ok so this is all about uh, you know half wave and full wave rectification this is uh, the uh, circuit what I've done is half wave rectification so the positive half cycle will be shown in the output the negative half cycle is not in the output the positive half cycle is not the full waveform that you'll be getting uh, since there is a firing angle of alpha of some value so the circuit that I've designed is half wave uh, rectifier using uh, resistor and capacitor uh, triggering circuit uh, thank you folks